Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude 3380 model and then the regulatory model for this one is a PADG001 that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop in the BIOS, BIOS or on the box. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery on your laptop. I get many of people asking me can I remove the battery and use the laptop without the battery Sure you can and it will work fine and there will be no harm done to the laptop nor to the charger. The charger will last you longer, the motherboard will last you longer because there is not going to be enough charge coming through the charger so it's going to not overload itself. And the motherboard of most of the component that is dedicated to charger battery is not going to work so it's going to last you a little longer. But if your charge is not holding up and you want to replace the battery, this video is for you. Replacing the battery is just a plug and play, there's no extra configuration required, so it's safe. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop, you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I will use the FXA screwdriver set, and from this tool set, we will all be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Alright, with this two on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the letter, you want to see a whole bunch of screws. None of the screws on here will come out entirely. So all you need to do is to loosen up the screws. Loosen up like that. And the screw will be just left like that. Don't pull it too much, but it will not come out because of the bottleneck on the plastic. If yours did come out and you pulled it by force, don't worry, just push it back in by force and that's it. So you can go around and just loosen up all the screws once you see it's wobbly. And that means that's it. Do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. Appreciate that. All right. Once all the screws are loosened up, what you need to do is to grab the opening tool. And you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that. And you just want to twist and you want to hear some click sounds. That's what you want to hear. Even back here, on the back side here, on the grill, you want to do the same thing. Do that all around on the back end. So you get to the other hinge. Once you need the back corner only, you can put it down. Grab it by your nail and put your thumbs on the hinge and just bring it up. And it will release the bottom power. Alright, and down here we can see this humongous battery. This is a 56 watt hour battery. This is a 30, model 33YDH. To remove this battery, first you need to disconnect it. To disconnect it, you want to pull this jack backward, just like that, and it will disconnect itself. To remove the battery, you need to remove four screws one, two, three, and four, one on each corner of the battery. So remove these four screws. Once you remove the screws, now you can just simply lift up the battery, bring it up. This is one, two, three, four cell battery. Once you get a new battery, you will need this cable. So you want to pull this cable, grab it tightly by the jack and pull it backward. Once you got the new battery, you need to plug back in this connector. It says battery and this side is as MB for the motherboard. So this side goes in, it only goes in one way, plug it in, you slide it all the way to the connector nicely, don't put it halfway through. And then you want to bring the, down the battery right in this place, make sure all the screw holes are matching. Grab the connector and slide it evenly inside the connector and pinch it all the way down inside. And the last thing down here would be to just put the four screws. And also just remember by putting up the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it powered off and you want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least four to four to five hours without a uh, laptop turning on. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger and you want to discharge the battery slowly with the brightness down to 50, 20% and let it discharge slowly. Once it's down to, to 30, 20%, then you want to power it off, plug in the charger and leave it charging again for four to five hours. After that, 
you can just use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge is very important for the new batteries. All right, once you're done with that one, you can put the bottom cover on, push the corner, you wanna hear those nice click sounds, squeeze it down, and to finish it off, just put the bottom screw right on top of just tighten up the screws because you don't need to put them, it's already there. And that should cover up today's video. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.